Model, read, and write numbers from 110 to 120. Lesson 6.10 We can model, read, and write numbers that start at 110 and go on to 120. Here we have 10 tens and one more 10. That means we have 11 tens. That's equal to 110. We can look at our chart. Here's 110. The next number is 111, then 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. 110 is 11 tens. We know that 100 is 10 tens. That's 11 tens. 120 is 12 tens. When we have 10 tens and two more tens, we have 12 tens. That equals 120. Look at all the stars, all the colorful stars. How many stars are there? What we can do is we can count the stars by making groups of tens. Then we count the groups of tens and then we count on how many more are left over. So let's find a group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we need to stop here. We can circle the orange stars, but we have to stop at this one, okay? So that's 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have to stop at this one again because there's 11. So we need only 10, so we're going to stop it right there, okay? So if these are in nice, neat columns and rows going across, what we can do is we can say, you know what? All of these are the 10s where the 10s stop. So that means for this column, that would be where the tens stop. And same with this one and this one. These are where all the tens are stopping, aren't they? We can finish the groupings. And we can count them again to be sure that each group has 10. But if they're in neat columns and rows going across like that, we know from looking at it that there must only be 10 in our group. So we're going to finish circling all of these tens. We made groups of tens and we have some left over. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left over. That's not enough to make another group of ten. So how many groups of ten do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten tens. Remember, 10 tens is equal to 100. So all of these in the groups are 100. Then we have 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107. There are 107 stars. There's 10 tens and seven left over, 107. We counted the stars by making groups of tens, we counted the groups of tens, and then we counted on how many more. We can model the number and we can write the number. Here we have 11 tens and one more. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tens, and one little tiny one more. 11 tens and one more would be 11 tens and one more. It would be 111. And we know that we can squeeze these together. We can squeeze these tens together, these 10 tens, to make a flat of 100 like that. Because 10 tens are equal to 100, and that'll make a flat of 100 little units like that, see? So here we have 110 more, that's 110, 111. 
Here we have 11 tens and two more. We have 100 from 10 tens. We have 10 more, so that's 110, 111, 112. We have 11 tens and two more. That is equal to 112. We can also write 10 tens and 12 more. We have 10, 11, 12, and a 100. It's still 112. It's just a different way to count them. Here we have 11 tens and 5 more. What number do we have? We have 11 tens and 5 more. We have 115. We have 10 tens, which is 100. We have another 10, so that's 110. 111, 112, 113, 114, 115. Here we have 11 tens and 9 more. We have 10 tens, 11 tens, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 more. We have 11 tens and 9 more. We can also write 10 tens and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 more. It's the same thing. 10 tens and 19 more is the same thing as 11 tens and 9 more. We're just counting this 110 right here with all of these 11 tens, or we're counting 10 tens to make 100 and then 19 ones. See? It says to write the number. And it's telling us that each of these green squiggly lines is a 10, and each of these green dots is a 1. How many 10s do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 10s. And 6 1s. 1, 2, 6 ones. What number does that make? We can write the 11 10s and 6 ones. 116. Look at this one. The ones are all in different places. We can still count them and group them together. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. And how many tens? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tens. What number do we have? We have the 11 tens and 7 ones. We have 117. Choose a way to solve, draw, or write to explain. Tala collects stamps. She can make 11 groups of 10 stamps. How many stamps does Tala have? Well, we can draw counters to help us. We can make a line to be a 10, like a rod of 10, couldn't we? And it says she has 11 of them, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So each of those are a 10, and we can count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. 11 groups of 10 is equal to 110. Dave collects toy trucks. He can make 11 groups of 10 toy trucks and one more group of four. So that means he doesn't have enough to make another group of 10. There's only four in the other group. See? So we can make 11 groups of 10, again, like we did here, but we know from this problem that 11 groups of 10 is equal to 110, don't we? But we could still do it. We could say that each one of these is a 10, and he has 11 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then he has a group that has only 4 in it. 1, 2, 3, 
four. That's how many toy trucks he has. We can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114. 11 groups of 10 and 4 more is equal to 114. Emma has many books. She can make 11 groups of 10 books and has 9 books left over. How many books does Emma have? Well, we now know that 11 groups of 10 is 110, isn't it? It also says she has 9 books left over. We can add these together. 9 plus 0 is still a 9, and we would just drop the 11 down. 119. We could also make rods of 10 and have 9 ones and count them. She has 119 books. That's a lot of books, isn't it? She likes to read. So in the last video, we learned about the numbers from 100 to 110. We know that 10 tens is equal to 100, and 101 is 10 tens and one more, and 102 is 10 tens and two more, two ones. And as we count down, we can see the ones are going up by one number. See? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When we get to 110, that's equal to 11 tens. So for this video, we learned 110 to 120. And we know that the 110 is 11 tens, right? We know that 111 is 11 tens and one more. 112 is 11 tens and two more, two ones. And it continues down with the ones place getting bigger by one number, see? Until we get to 120, and that's equal to 12 tens. So can you count by tens? Our next lesson is going to be about greater than. That's this symbol. Kind of looks like a mouth, doesn't it? We'll talk about that. That's lesson 7.1. So practice counting by tens. See how high you can go. You can bounce a ball back and forth with a friend or a brother or sister, counting by tens and taking turns. You could jump rope and count by tens. I hope you have a great day. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.